Shatter fought under the command of Shockwave and Soundwave during the Decepticon effort to eradicate the last members of the Autobot resistance on Cybertron. The Autobots, commanded by Optimus Prime, managed to evacuate the planet. Shatter was partnered with Dropkick to hunt down survivors. In 1987, Shatter and Dropkick managed to track the Autobot Cliffjumper to a moon orbiting the planet Saturn. Shatter interrogated Cliffjumper for information on the location of Optimus Prime while Dropkick proceeded to torture him. Cliffjumper refused to divulge any information apart from his name and rank. During the interrogation, a signal was received by the pair of Decepticons indicating that another Autobot, B-127 was present on Earth, a planet in the same solar system. With no more use for Cliffjumper, Dropkick killed the Autobot by bisecting him from head to groin and the two Decepticons left for Earth. Landing on Earth in the desert close to a trailer park, Shatter and Dropkick acquired new muscle car alt modes, with Shatter selecting a Plymouth satellite. Transforming, Shatter and Dropkick headed towards California in search of B-127 but find a blockade of Sector 7 military vehicles in their path. Shatter and Dropkick take the opportunity to scan additional aircraft alt modes, with Shatter choosing a Harrier jump jet. Intercepted by the Sector 7 forces, Shatter held Dropkick back from attacking and instead persuaded the humans that they were Decepticon peacekeepers searching for a dangerous criminal. Showing the humans a hologram of B-127, the bot was recognized by one of the Sector 7 agents, Jack Burns, who had engaged the robot in combat previously. Dr. Powell agreed to assist the two Decepticons, and the pair was taken to Sector 7's Hoover Dam base. Granted access to the United States network of satellites, Shatter and Dropkick worked to modify the system with Cybertronian technology to create a global interconnected computer network. The enhanced system detected an Energon surge pinpointing B-127's location, leading to the bot's capture by Sector 7. B-127, now identifying as Bumblebee, was handed over to Shatter and Dropkick for interrogation. Once more, Shatter did the questioning while Dropkick applied the physical torture. The pair became frustrated with Bumblebee's lack of answers since he was suffering from both a damaged voice synthesizer and a faulty memory core but somehow managed to activate a hologram of Optimus Prime. The recording was of Bumblebee's orders to establish a base on Earth for the Autobots. Shatter and Dropkick decided to relay the information to their fellow Decepticons using a nearby radio tower. Dropkick left Bumblebee for dead and killed Dr. Powell who overhead their plans but he managed to warn Burns before he died. Shatter and Dropkick began to modify the radio tower but were interrupted by a revived Bumblebee. While Dropkick engaged Bumblebee in combat, Shatter continued to work on the radio tower. Agent Burns arrived in a helicopter and began to attack Shatter based on Dr. Powell's warnings, but she managed to shoot down the helicopter. Burns survived with Bumblebee's help. Bumblebee's human friend, Charlie Watson, managed to disable the radio tower. Shatter turned her attention to the human, and was then engaged by Bumblebee who had just killed Dropkick. The fight spread to a dry dock and Shatter gained the upper hand. As she was about to kill Bumblebee, the Autobot blew a hole in the dry dock wall. The surge of water brought a large cargo ship into the dry dock that crushed and killed Shatter against the dock wall.